I did several shows with her. And one day during rehearsal, I said, Carol, I want to show you something just beautiful. And I sang a cappello uh, somewhere over the rainbow. And I did it in sign language. And she started to cry, you know, somewhere over the rainbow. And she said, we have to do that on the show. I said, fine, fine. You do it, as I say, you do it the way deaf hear music on the hands. They don't hear anything. They, they hear music on your hands. So she wrote it in the script, and it went upstairs to the powers that be, and CBS and came right back down and said, there'll be no sign language on television. It's too controversial. Well, it was at that time. There was a big fight between sign language and oralism. Oralism means where you teach speech like the Tracy Clinic does, and that's very valuable and very viable. But I was an advocate that you should teach children any way they could learn. Teach them anything, write, show them. And I said sign language was very helpful, and I was pushing it. So Carol was a smarty. She always had that uh, interview thing at the beginning of her show where she would ask questions. And she had planted somebody out in the audience. And she pointed to the person, she said yes, and they said, we hear Nanette sings a beautiful song in sign language. She said, that's right, Nanette, come out here and sing your song. And I did the song. CBS couldn't cut it out, it's a live show. Carol got such an enormous positive response from that song that the next time I was on, we did it, it was the first time ever sign language has been integrated into an entertainment program where hearing singers sing and dancers dance to sign language and use sign language and use music. And it was Carol who made that breakthrough. I'm forever grateful to her for that. She's smart.